Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and today I've got something a little bit different for you. I have decided to record one of my paintings, and very recently I got into abstract pouring painting. That's not my typical uh, thing that I do, and I'm sorry for the echo, I am in my dining room doing this. I can't paint in my room, um, so forgive me for the echo. Um, this is not the normal kind of painting that I would do. I'll put a screenshot up, up on the screen on the normal things that I would normally paint. Wow, I'm saying normal a lot. I got lost down the rabbit hole of pouring, painting, abstract art, uh, liquid fluid art. I got so interested in it that I just thought that, oh, I want to do that too. And so the first few paintings I made were duds, uh, to put it lightly, uh, really ugly. I've done like 25 paintings and I'm like, this is going to be great. I already know what I'm doing with art and I'm going to make something awesome. <laughs> and then I made, I don't know, like 20 duds in four really good paintings. But now I'm confident that I can make a better painting. And I don't know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this video is going to yield a good painting. If it doesn't yield a good painting, I don't care. I'm putting it up anyways. Whether it's good or bad, I'm putting it up. That's the commitment. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm new at this. So, so let's do it. And if you like this video, then maybe I'll start an art channel. I've been an artist for many years now. I have an Etsy shop, mostly do paintings, resin work, some sculpture, stuff like that, but I'm I'm totally new to the abstract scene, so if you like this video, if you like the painting, let me know if you find it, you know, relaxing, and maybe I will consider creating another channel. Oh my god, I'm almost out of white paint. That's bad. I should have prepared. Alright! Also, this is not extremely family friendly, so you're probably used to poor videos that are very family friendly. I'm probably gonna swear. Just FYI, you know, ooh. Oh, I got this new palette knife. I'm not used to working with palette knives, but you know what, it's shiny, I like it. I'm gonna start out with a white base because that's what I feel like doing. Oh, and just FYI, just to make this video a little bit easier to do, this is pre-mixed paint. Normally, I wouldn't even use pre-mixed. Um, I would mix myself with like a pouring medium and Ooh, sorry, it's just so... I'm not gonna use a lot of paint for my base. Normally I would use um, paint and then mix it with something like Floetrol or Liquitex, but I've had some good luck doing... Uh, making like rings with the Artist Loft paint. They're not very good for cells, uh, for cell creation, but they are pretty good at keeping rings. I hope that... I hope these noises are, in fact, uh, <laughs> relaxing and not totally annoying. I mean, it's gonna be better than my bird squawking no matter what, so that's that's my theory on that. All right, so now I've got a white base. It's not very even, but that's okay. Maybe it's not okay. I don't know. I think it's okay. By the way, I got this amazing silicone mat. I saw people recommending it on other pouring videos, and it's just like, you can do anything on these mats. It's by, let me check, it's by Loli Veth. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. This is not sponsored, by the way. It's not even commissioned. Like, I don't even get any money <laughs> if I tell you about this mat. I just really like this mat because you can do resin work on it. And, like, the paint, all this paint you see here, it lifts, like, right up. So, by the way, I don't normally wear gloves, but for the sake of not grossing out you guys out, I'll wear them. I want to be honest, I hate wearing gloves because... Mostly because I forget that I'm wearing them and when I go to like reach for my torch or reach for a brush I get it all over the place because I can't feel the paint on my hands So I'm gonna try something called can you guys see the cup if I put it over here? It doesn't matter who cares. I'm gonna do a split cup pour I've done it before but usually I'll put like a little kind of like cardboard in here to split it up You don't really need to do that if you don't want to let's move this out of the way You don't really need to do that the paint is most of the time thick enough to where you don't need to. So I'm going to do just a split cup, just in black and white. I've been experimenting with black and white. So I am going to put a little here. Pretty sure I already ruined my split cup. <laughs> Man, this is going to be awesome. And I can't get my white paint open, so probably already did ruin it. You know what? It's fine. Yeah, let's do like double action here. Can I even, can I even do it this way? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I can't. That's the answer to that. down kind of a white base is because I actually am going to try to wreck the ring once I've got a good ring. I want to try to make like a spider's web. I think that's enough paint. You know, I never know if there's enough paint or not. You don't want to have too, whoops, you don't want to have too much paint because if you have too much paint, then it just kind of weighs down the canvas. I think that looks, look at what I did here. Look at what I did. I mean, that's pretty cool looking. Actually, it almost looks like a silhouette in there. Done! Alright, let's move this shit out of the way. I swear, if this turns out all black, I'm gonna be really upset. Alright, let's do the ring. Did you see it? Did you see it? It is right there. That is so annoying. I tried really hard at that. Ooh. So actually this ring looks really nice. I used way too much paint, as you can see. Um, regrets, but that's, that's okay because a lot of it's going to drip off during the tilt anyway. So that's a beautiful ring, no doubt. Oh, I'm going to feel really bad because my... <laughs> I wanted to wreck it. I wanted to put, you know, a little thing. I wanted to try to make a spider's web. Now I feel kind of bad, not gonna lie. Oh, come on, I can do it again. It's just a painting. It's just a painting. We can do it again. Let's try to make a spider's web. You only live once, right? Can't believe I just said YOLO. All right, let's do it. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Oh God, air bubbles. Torch. I am just gonna make little swipes using this little paintbrush because I ran out of stir sticks. As you can see, I'm so prepared for this. And I'm just gonna kind of try to make I guess spider's web line. Let's do it. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I know it looks really good now, but I found that, you know, after tilting, it just, you just never know where it's gonna end up. I've, I've had some of the, like, just the prettiest rings, the prettiest kind of pour, and then it all gets, ruined during the tilt. Luckily, I've got a million pounds of paint. So let's just start tilting and see what I can do with this thing that I've started. Who am I kidding? That center is not gonna fucking stay. Why do I kid myself, everyone? Spider web, this is not. <laughs> I should have added like more kind of rings like that, but I was hoping that the white would kind of account for that. I am tilting, I feel too slow. Am I? Yeah, this paint is... Thanks, too much paint. These are all rhetorical questions, you do not have to answer them. I'll probably speed up this part anyway. Some royalty... I think it's safe to say that uh, this is not a spider's web. <laughs> it's very interesting. I don't think it quite came out. I'm going to tilt it a little bit more. It didn't quite come out the way I thought it would. It's a very interesting concept, but yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. I'm trying to just get it a little more. I wish I could get this weird thing going over here on, but I don't know. It's definitely interesting. I actually didn't lose a lot of paint. I actually 
estimated the amount I needed pretty well. There's not a lot on the mat, just a little bit. And so at least there's that. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe, I think I shouldn't have gone into the center quite so much. I think that's part of the problem here. But I'm also, I'm not really into the idea of going back over it with my Q-tip. It is interesting. You can kind of see what I was going for a little bit. Um, when it dries, I might embellish it more with, a, you know, like extra paint or a Sharpie marker. You can do embellishments with a Sharpie marker. That would be pretty cool. You know what? It is what it is. This is what happens when you do kind of fluid abstract art. You kind of have to... Keep in mind that it might not turn out the way you wanted it to turn out. And I still think this is a pretty cool painting, so if you like it, then buy it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you like it, then let me know in the comments. If you like this video or are interested in more, you know, artsy videos like this one, let me know. I don't think I would put them all here on my channel. You can definitely follow me on Twitter. I post all of my stuff on Twitter. But if you're interested in a second channel where I do painting like this and we just have a chit chat, I can do resin work, I can do sculpture, I can do more paintings like this. Oh my god, my hand in the mat is a mess. Um, just, just let me know. Leave me a like. I hope you had fun watching this even though this is slightly an abomination. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.